<laughs> okay, so watching this, uh, you're probably thinking one of two things. Either A, that's adorable, or B, I'm hungry. <laughs> Don't worry, there are no wrong answers here. Nobody's judging, but if you're heading out to see Pixar's The Incredibles 2 this weekend, you're going to see a lot more of that little dumpling on the big screen. And as our Tashana Reed explains, that's not just a win for creativity, but also for diversity. A Chinese mother and her magical dumpling. Bao is Pixar's latest short film, and it's first to be directed by a woman, Chinese-Canadian animator Domi Shi. Well, Bao has two meanings in Chinese. Uh, said one way, Bao, it means steam bun, like the ones that these guys are making. And said another way, Bao, it means uh, precious or a treasure. This one. Bao has been Xi's precious project for the last four years, a story inspired by her own life experience, growing up as an only child of Chinese immigrant parents in Toronto. I always felt like ever since I was little that my mom's always treated me like her precious little dumpling. And um, I just wanted to explore that relationship uh, between this like overprotective Chinese mom and this like little dumpling that just wants to get away. After graduating from the animation program at Sheridan College in Ontario, she was hired as an animator at Pixar. Now her own eight-minute short will run in theaters worldwide, along with Incredibles 2. I came up with the idea for Bao because I really wanted to see um, just my culture and like the, the, these types of food that I grew up with and these people that I, that I was surrounded by growing up, like on the big screen. Yeah. Oh, that's where I got it. For she, every frame had to be just right. So the 28-year-old decided to bring in an expert, her mother. Squish, squish, squish. I don't know, that's fine. That's fine, that's bad. That's fine, that's good, that's beautiful. The entire animation crew filmed and captured every detail from rolling dough to folding steamed buns. Yeah. We really wanted those authentic details to ground the story and the film and to make it feel like this uh, real Chinese mom's experience. Bao isn't the only film this summer that has Asian creators bringing their authentic stories to life. I want the money. 1.2 million. The highly anticipated rom-com Crazy Rich Asians opens this summer. Adapted from writer Kevin Kwan's successful book series, the movie features a full Asian cast, director, and writers. From script to For Toronto filmmaker Martin Edrelin, this year is significant for him. What we see on screen changes the way we see ourselves and the way other people see us. Growing up as a Filipino teen, Edrelin says he rarely saw Asians represented in film or TV. And if he did, it was in stereotypical roles. He didn't realize how much of an impact it had. When I was writing, I imagined white characters and white stories. And I think that's just because that's, that's what we saw in the media. And I guess now because of all of the discussion around, you know, diversity and representation, um, it was a real wake-up call to sort of reflect on my own experience and who I am. Edrelin is now developing two feature films that tell the stories of Filipino Canadians. A change is happening, but slowly. Of the 100 top movies of 2017, only about 4% had Asian directors. My son, it is your time. And this was the game changer. Soon, there will only be the conqueror. The $1.3 billion box office success of Black Panther opened doors and showed Hollywood that diversity sells. Los Angeles screenwriter Christina Hudson believes that real change starts in the writer's room. If you start by putting on the page something different, something that causes them to think outside of the box, if we do specify ethnicity sometimes, it can make people read in a different way. Who are you? Hudson recently finished writing the latest Transformers movie, Bumblebee, with the franchise's first female lead. That's actually what I meant. She believes big studios also need to play a role in promoting diverse voices and film. I think it's so important that, um, you know, studios support uh, diverse storytellers from the ground up, like not just consultants hired, like, 
halfway through the movie, you know, being finished, like having them there from the very beginning of the conception of the story. Bao's creator already has been given a green light to start work on a feature length film for Pixar. She hopes to help change the industry one frame at a time. Tashana Reed, CBC News, Toronto.